did you know that when you see holes in your cana leaves, a caterpillar is probably the culprit? And that's why they're the topic of our two-minute pest. Tom, my plant is devastated, right? Oh, it certainly well, is. Somebody's yeah. been beautiful, eating it. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Somebody's specimen. been munching, but what is the culprit? Well, I've got one of them right here. It just that came one. out, that little one right there. Look at him coming around. You know, they start off small. They start off as an egg. Isn't that hard to believe? I know. And then they just grow and grow, but I've got a bigger one. I got a juicy Let's one. Let's see the big yeah, bad boy. There he is. He was folded over like this here. And there he is right now. Look at that big caterpillar there. Now that one there must be getting ready to pupate, I guess, and spin a little web. You can see how much devastation mm -hmm. they do with their chew marks, but they don't really live that long. Isn't it no, three weeks? Yeah, Something probably, like that? maybe not that long. But, but these dev devastate a plant, and they really can eat a lot yeah. of plant. And we get them on tomatoes and a lot of our cabbage. Mm -hmm. Cabbage fills with these little devils too, but this one happens to be on the camera. And canna. what about the leaf rolling when they fold up in the leaf? What's going on there? You know, I think a certain amount of it's protection, and then uh, they're going to probably pupate in there. Now, some of them will drop out to the ground and pupate, so they have all different kind of life cycles. But the interesting thing is they can be controlled, and one thing you can do is go out there, pick them off by hand. Yeah. What we used to do is drop them in a the fish pond. The fish love them. That's kind of neat. Or you have some natural things. You have thuricide, you have spinosad, and just follow the labels. They're natural products, but still follow the labels. Or you can get a product like Seven, which is made for chewing insects. Follow the label again. So now you know how to identify caterpillar damage and some ways to manage the chewing insect pest.